Right, let's go through binary addition. The easiest place to start is to look at the basic rules. So we have 0 plus 0 equals 0. We have a 1 plus 0. And just like normal addition, that's 1. And then we come to the interesting one, 1 plus 1. Now, I'm going to pause there for a second. Why is this one slightly different and important and often the, the most unfamiliar element? 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, they look just like normal addition, right? But here's the crucial thing. 1 plus 1, it cannot... We can't simply just write 2. Why? We can't write 2 because... We only have binary numbers available to us. This word here at the top, let's just highlight it, binary. What does that actually mean? actually means you only have 1 or 0. They're the only two numbers in this number system, right? There are two numbers. Notice we also can call this base 2, which is another way of saying the same thing, or binary. So binary, base 2... And this kind of, um, these two numbers, um, he says pointing to the screen but not really making it clear. So binary, 1 and 0, and base 2 are three basically, um, three expressions of the same idea. Okay, so what does 1 plus 1 equal in this particular system? Um, well, it can't, we can't, as we said before, we can't write 2 here because we don't have a 2. The only digits available to us are 1s or zeros. So what we do is we use a strategy which is very familiar for um, normal addition. The only way to explain that is to give you a parallel example. So if I had 9 plus 7, we know that 9 plus 7 equals 16. So what we do is we write the 6 down there and we carry over the 1 to the next column. But there's, as, there's nothing else to add to the 1, so we write it there. So here's the point. When these two numbers are too big for the digits that are part of that number system, you have to shift to the next column. Okay, that's standard way of thinking, and you may not even have thought of that. What happens here, let's use a different colour, let's use red, is that with 1 plus 1, it equals 0, and it carries over 1. That is the most um, important observation here. 1 plus 1, there's your 0, like you have 6 over here and you're carrying over the 1. Well, we carry over the 1, but there's nothing else in the column, so we'll just write it down here. Just to make that absolutely clear, you know, the 1 is carried over, and then, and then in the second column is effectively added this one here is effectively added to zero and give you one. Now, hopefully that hasn't confused you. Let's do a fresh slide and just lay these rules out. So just to summarize, the key rules are zero plus zero, zero, zero plus one, or one plus zero, the same, and one plus one gives you zero, one, not ten. Don't translate this term into a 10. It isn't. It looks like a 10, and effectively you might think it is. Then now there are some very important consequences for adding two numbers. So let's have a fresh slide and let's test this out and see what this happens. We'll start with a simple example. These examples all come from the sheet, so you can use the sheet as a reference to this particular video. So the example we use is 1, 1, 0, plus 0, 1, 1. And we're going to add them. So we always start like normal addition on the right hand side and we add 0 and 1. And 0 and 1 give us 1 according to the rules. We then move to the second column here, 1 plus 1. Ah, 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. We have a 0 and we carry over a 1. So let's write that down and I'll try to use a different colour here. So we've got a 0 but we carry over the 1. We then move to the final column here, but now we've not, not only got 1 plus 0, but we've got 1 plus 1 plus 0. 
1 plus 1 is 1, 0 again. So let's use a different colour. And what we would do is we would put directly underneath a 0, but there is a 1. And why is it 1, 0 here? Because it's 1 plus 1 in this column. So that's how a very simple addition occurs. Now, what I would encourage you to do after this video is go to the exercises in the sheet and test out your addition using this rule.